Izzy is an IT admin who is responsible for configuring the Process Discovery Privacy Enhanced Gateway for redacting sensitive information before it reaches the cloud. He is excited about the new features including the Configuration UI that enables him to configure the gateway via a web UI instead of via command line. Let's look at this in more detail. Izzy has just finished the installation of PEG and now needs to configure the forwarding settings. Izzy configures the PEG forwarding settings to tell PEG where to send redacted data. Before this release, Izzy would have had to log into the PEG command line, edit the configuration text file manually, and run scripts to commit the changes to PEG. With this new configuration UI, he just updates the forwarding settings in the UI and clicks Deploy. Using standard IT processes, Izzy deploys the process discovery sensors to collect data so that Thomas, the business team manager, can review the redaction results. Thomas notices PEG is redacting some category names that they don't want redacted. Before this PEG release, Izzy would have needed to download the entire pass list, modify it, and upload it with the changes. Now Izzy easily makes incremental changes by adding those words to the pass list via the new UI and clicks Update. After several days, Thomas notices that while he can see the screenshots in PEG, none of the data has shown up on the Process Discovery Cloud Platform. The last few days of data were very important. Thomas asks Izzy if he can figure out what's happening and also have PEG forward the data from the last few days. Instead of having to run the command line commands to see the status of the PEG components, Izzy looks at the pod status in the UI. Everything looks okay. Izzy decides to collect the logs and open a support ticket for assistance, where previously he would have had to log into the command line to run a script to get the logs and then download them. Izzy now just downloads the logs directly from the configuration UI. Automation Anywhere support reviews the logs Izzy provided. They let Izzy know PEG isn't in forward mode, which is why data is not showing on the platform. Izzy realizes while he configured the PEG forwarding settings, he didn't actually enable forwarding yet. Instead of having to use the PEG command line as he would with previous releases, Izzy uses the configuration UI to set forward to platform to true. And using this new capability to forward past events sets forward existing masked records to true and sets the UTC start date for forwarding and UTC end date for forwarding to match the time range where data was collected when forwarding was not enabled. Then he clicks Deploy. With this new PEG configuration UI, Izzy was able to modify redaction settings, configure forwarding, get the logs and forward previously collected data, all without ever needing to log into the command line allowing him to do configuration changes without needing any PEG command line knowledge.